Yo, so this fucking murdering cocksucker gets a, arrested for murder, thank God. Because, you know, if you kill somebody on camera, I don't think there's too much of debate whether the guy should be charged for murder. But he gets a $200,000 bail and he gets bailed out within three hours. Now, let me see. The, let, me, let me tell you the problem with this scenario is I've known people in Texas. Not personally, but know of, like, you know, oh, this person knows that. They've been locked up for murder. You don't get a fucking bond for fucking murder in fucking Texas if they don't want you to. If they don't want you to, they you don't get a fucking bond. It's Texas? Texas be fucking killing more people with the death penalty than fucking I don't even know who. You're going to tell me Texas gave this cocksucker a bond. We all know why. He's a fucking cop or ex-cop. He quit already, though. So this is the shit that fucking bugs me out. He fucking quit. So he was no longer a cop. Even though cops should not get any fucking special treatment, they're fucking human just like we are. Uh, being a cop should not be a license to fucking kill. It should not be that. Yo, motherfuckers. Yo, this is like an open fucking letter to anybody. If you're a fucking psychopath and you have it in you to kill somebody, come be a cop and fucking you might get away with murder. Might not have a job anymore, but you might get away with murder. Like, yo, I, like I said, I made a video before just explaining the situation because it's not that hard to understand. This was a fucking person in their house who got shot through the window after being told to put your hands up less than a fucking split second later shot right fucking dead yo in what fucking world do we live in where anybody would accept this this is as bad as the eric gardner shit like the eric gardner shit will always stand out to me because this guy got fucking choked out no choked to death on fucking camera for no reason at all his whole beginning to end they just decided to use excessive force on the guy because I guess they were threatened because he was big and black. And he fucking got killed on camera. Except when that situation, the fucking cop walked free. Except now, now, like five years later, he finally got fired from his job. But, you know, let's just forget he fucking killed a person and they just fired him from his job. And then, just to sprinkle this in a little bit, then they had a fucking fundraiser. Where they raised like close to $100,000 for this fucking piece of shit. But anyways, listen. Back to this motherfucker. Let me tell you something, that nigga. Not all cops are bad. That's a stupid fucking thing to say. A fucking retarded thing to say. There are cops out there that I do believe that want to do good. That do do good every fucking day. I do believe that. But damn it, man. There's people like this who are fucking scared of their own shadow. Where they will fucking murder somebody. Without any probable cause, just because they're fucking scared. And just because I parked my car, there's no longer any light. But fuck that nigga! So just gonna... No, 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 I'm not kidding. For real, fuck him. That nigga deserves to burn in hell for what he did. Now, I'm not saying he should die, but you know, whenever his natural death occurs, he should deserve to burn in hell. Because you don't fucking kill somebody for no reason, goddammit.